How you doing everyone? I'm Aaron Millie and today we're going to talk about politics. Now, what I want to talk about today in politics is I want to speak upon the war that's going on here in America against African people. Now, when I say African people, I mean African people. The race, African people. If you consider yourself a nigger, you are not African. You are a nigger. And nigger is not a race. Nigger is just a very ignorant person. Anyone can be a nigger. We all know this. Okay, so let's get on into it. Now, since we're talking, I want to go on to some detail. I want to talk about specifically, uh, specifically, specifically war. I want to talk about war. I want to talk about war. I want to have a war. It takes a lot to have a war. But I need an army to have a war. I need soldiers. I need warriors. I need nationalists. I need, I need, I need people good in computers. I need scientists. I need engineers. I need funding in order to have a war. I want a nation. These are the things that I want. My nationality isn't American. My nationality is black. African. I don't like America. America has done nothing but dehumanize me, degrade me, take all my resources, take away all my money, put me in debt, enslave me, feed me Christianity in death, put me in jail, rape me. Kill me, hang me, burn me alive. America is not my friend at all. Did I ever have a choice to be an American citizen? No, I never had a choice to be an American citizen. When I was born, my mother signed a birth certificate, which is a bond to the United States government. So I'm just a piece of property to the United States government. Well, you know, when the Europeans formed this government, I don't think they asked us, hey, Africans, y'all wanna be a part of our government? They just said, you know, since we own them, I put a big quote, own them, we gonna put them in our government cause we gonna be able to use them. Nah, you know, Native Americans, they would say, they was like, nah, fuck that. We our own nation. We ain't fuck with y'all. Point blank, period. You know, like y'all crackers that came over here, y'all killed us, that took all our goddamn land, and making y'all government. Fuck y'all, y'all government. We won't be a part of y'all shit. They couldn't kill them all. So they was like, okay. So, um, you know, we gonna do this for y'all. Because so we already killed them. Let me have some trained motherfuckers over here. Had some niggas like us. I ain't gonna say niggas, but yeah, some niggas, niggas, ignorant motherfuckers, fighting for them goddamn crackers, for them goddamn Europeans. I know y'all all seen that 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 um that movie clip with with a with, with a two enslaved Africans running. They running, and then there's one chasing after the other, and then he falls down. He's like, "You catch me! If they kill me." Them peck of woods kill me. It's cause you, you kill me. Them peck of woods ain't kill me. And you got me, you chasing at me like you the dog. Yeah. And then they hung him. And at the end, you like, you kiss my black ass. Yeah, just like that. Know what I mean? You got one African chasing other African for the goddamn crackers. Them crackers ain't kill him. Cause them crackers ain't catch him. But that, that African caught him. And the African gave him up. Like, it's just this topic, man. What's going on in Nigeria? Boko Haram. Killing motherfuckers. They taking us off the goddamn continent, man. 
Don't you understand? You remember when Mansa Musa was king over the Mali Empire? And he had all those gold mines. And them Europeans was like, damn, he the richest person in the world. Africa is the richest place in the world. So you know what we're going to do within the next couple hundred years since we know this? Let's take everybody out of Africa. Take all the shit. Kick you the fuck out. Take all your shit. That's what they did. They got us the fuck out of there. They took us from Africa. Moved us to this continent. Even though we're ready to fuck over here. But they forcefully did it. Moved us to this continent. And took our shit. When we try to repopulate back to our, 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 our traditional greatness. Just kill them. That's it. Just, just continue to kill them. There's no mass murder of Europeans anywhere in the world. So Boko Haram, my question to you is, how would you kill all the crackers in Nigeria? That'd help. How would you kill all the crackers in Africa? How about you kill all the crackers in Europe? That'll help. You know what? I pay for your plane ticket here to the United States. You can kill all the crackers in Connecticut. You hear me? But I need an army. I need fellas, African fellas, who are willing to be trained to fight and to protect their nation. And I need these African fellas to understand that they're part of the black nation, the red, black, and green nation, the most powerful nation on this planet, the most powerful nation that they will ever be. And by God, we will do whatever we need to do to secure that position in the history books for time of this earth. You will know that the black nation is the most greatest nation that ever lived, that ever survived. You will know that the black nation is what every other nation wants to be, but they can never be. We are Africans, we are black, we are the kings of the earth, the children of the sun. We are what the stars design. Now for anyone who decides that they are against us, You know your position. It doesn't matter because we know our position. Our position is number one in this world of many. We are number one. We are completely self-sufficient. We need absolutely no one to sustain life on this earth but each other. We do not want your cracker help. We do not need your cracker help. We don't want your Chinese help. We don't want your Asian help. We don't want your Arab help. We don't need your Arab help. We don't want your Hindu Bangladesh. Thank you. Come on, gun. Do you want a Slurpee? Help. No, we don't fucking need it. And we don't fucking want it. So... That pretty much goes out to everyone else in the world that is not black, that is not African. Fuck you. Fuck off. Get off my culture's dick. Get off my dick. Get off my continent's fucking dick. Get off my heritage fucking dick. Go ride a fucking horse dick. Now, let's get back to talking politics. War. War, war, war. First, you need people willing to fight in a war. Who the fuck would not be willing to fight in a war? But who are we fighting against? 
We are fighting against white supremacy. We are fighting to stop white supremacy so that we can own land in our own country without a problem. So that we can walk to the store without a problem. So that we can have babies and families without a problem. So that we can raise our children right without a problem. So that we can educate ourselves without a problem. We need war so we can teach ourselves without a problem. So that we can learn without a problem. So that we don't have to ask anyone for jobs without a problem. We need war so that we won't have to compete with anyone without a problem. We need war so that we can survive without a problem for generations to come without a problem because we are the greatest and we don't give a flying fuck about any of you. You fucking so-called fake-ass fucking Jews. We don't give a fuck about you. Hebrew Israelites are African. Your bitch ass George Washington ain't do shit. Punk ass motherfucking Spanish bastard fucking Columbus ain't do shit. That motherfucker better go suck up more dick. Moore's navigated his Bitch ass homie, even though they got here by accident. They already knew the motherfucking rap. A booboo car the second came over here hundred years before motherfucking Columbus anyway. Right before Mr. Moose, motherfucker. So, like I was saying, let's talk politics. Let's talk about that African ultimate dollar. That currency. Let's talk about that. I want to sell bikes here in New York City made from bamboo from Ghana. That's politics. How can I get that done? How can I get all of these Arabs I don't give a fuck if you call them Arab. I don't give a fuck if you call them Arab. I don't give a fuck if you call them Muslims. I don't give a fuck if you call them radical Islamists. I don't give a fuck if you call them Islamists. I don't give a fuck if you call them Islamic. I don't give a fuck if you call them Akalaka Daka, motherfucker. How about we get these Arabs out of our community? African people, stop giving them your fucking money. Stop giving these Arabs your fucking money money. They don't got shit to offer you. Nothing. They are weak. Religious motherfuckers. Fuck them in a fucking religion. Fuck these Arabs. Fuck them. Don't give them shit how the motherfuckers starve. Because you know what grow in Saudi Arabia? Don't shit grow in fucking Saudi Arabia. Because it's a goddamn desert. They need fucking Africa. And they don't respect Africans. And they don't fucking like us. Fuck them. Hope they die slow. In the fucking sands of Saudi Arabia. Next. These fucking. Chinese. Asian, Japanese, North Korean, South Korean, Taiwanese. I don't give a fuck. You motherfuckers ain't African. Stop giving them your fucking money. They feeding you dog, cat. They feeding you fucking fish raised off of pig feces, shrimp raised off of pig shit. That's the shit that they, that's the food, that's the market that they in. They eat fucking rats. Why the fuck would you let a person that eat rats serve you food? What the fuck is wrong with you? Wake your dumb ass the fuck up. Stop giving them your fucking money. 
so that they could get out your motherfucking neighborhoods. We went from making glass. Now, if I spoke today to anyone, I said, no, I want to go into business. I want to make glass. I want to heat up sand until it melts and turns into glass. And I want to make cups for people. You probably look at me some type of way like, fuck is you talking about? Well, weren't we like the first people, you know, civilized people who, who made glass pottery and stuff like that in, in Africa? Well, I think so. From what I know, yeah. So you mean to tell me we went from making fucking glass to not making nothing? I mean, we make some of the best stuff in the motherfucking world. I'm still upset that how the fuck I get a, 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 a ticket for running the goddamn red light when a black man met the motherfucking light signal, goddammit? Red means stop. Yellow means slow down. Green means go. Let's talk politics. This country ain't shit. This country is garbage. This country straight trash. But you African people here are fucking pussy. Straight like that. You African people in this fucking country on this fucking continent are fucking pussy. The only other African person I'm respecting right now in the name of bloody politics is Robert Mugabe. Kick them crackers off of his fucking land. Get the fuck off. Take your ass back to motherfucking Europe and go suck on a fucking sausage. That's how you do it. Kudos. Robin Mugabe. Kudos. That is my hero. In other news, you got all these people in your motherfucking neighborhood, you African. You paying. Who the fuck is you paying rent to? Where's your money going to? Where's your time going to? Yo, the IRS? Dug that shit. I ain't paying them off for the shit. Who else? Credit card bills? Fuck you. Suck my dick. I ain't paying you. Fuck you and your credit, motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> fuck I need credit for. Credit. Good credit, bad credit, no problem. Where, if it ain't no one make a fucking difference, then who cares about a credit score? Shit, if I ain't destined to have shit any fucking ways, right? The fuck, I'm, I'm gonna keep giving you my fucking money so I could get better credit. I'm gonna need my credit. No, I'm gonna need this dick. That's what the fuck I'm gonna need. I'll birth a 401k plan before I pay you any fucking thing. How about my fucking reparations? Can I get that? Can I get my reparations? Huh? Huh? No, it, it don't fucking matter what you say because I'm taking my reparations. The fuck is wrong with these people? The fuck is wrong with these crackers, man? The fuck is wrong with these, these, these fucking, these no hue people? These mankind motherfuckers. One giant step for man, one giant step for mankind. I'm a human. I'm a human. Hugh, man, you see my Hugh, you see my melanin, you see my motherfucking luxurious curly hair. Now when this shit grow to an afro, goddamn, talk about afro pip, shit, nigga, I'ma need a garden rake to fix this shit. Hollywood, Hollywood. How come all you black actors and get together? You know what I want? This is what I want here on this continent. What I want on this continent, the Moors refer to it as Morocco. What I want on this, the, the Moroccan Empire, what I want on this continent, I want all the crackers gone. Dead. Don't, don't send them anywhere else. I want them dead. 
dead. Dead. Dead. I want us African people all across the world to rise up and I want us to make civilization again. And I want us to do it right this time. We will be fair to ourselves. Anyone who is not us will be subservient. We will treat them subserviently. We will treat ourselves with the utmost respect because we are the best people in the world. We will treat ourselves with the utmost courtesy, with the utmost kindness. We will give ourselves money, love, futures, experiences, lifetimes, and so much more. We have values. We are beautiful people. We have morals. We have spirit. We have rhythm. We have dance. We have creativity. We have productivity. We have unity. But we don't have an active army to conquer the world. Anyone in any time ever, your goal is to conquer the world. How do you conquer the world? You conquer the world. All I ever want to do is conquer the world. Conquer the world. If you're not conquering the world, what are you doing? You ain't doing jack diddly, 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 diddly squat. Do you understand me? And if you don't understand, I'll put it down to you in another way. I'll put it down to you in this way. Any person that you know that's famous, they set out to conquer the world. I'm going to take over. Everyone's going to know my name. But when I say conquer the world, that's what I mean, similarly. But I'm talking about this continent, this region. I want a systematic oppression of all non-African people now. I want a systematic oppression in the schools. I want a systematic oppression when it comes to hiring. I want a systematic oppression when it comes to incarceration. I want a systematic oppression in society. When you see a cracker, you say a cracker. When you see an Arab, you say an Arab. You say an Arab. When you see a fucking chink, you say a chink. Fuck you motherfuckers. I don't want to go to your goddamn countries any motherfucking way. I'm here stuck in this fucking continent that I'm on. And I only want to go here into the motherland. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about no other land. Now. It is the time. That. If anybody decides to fuck with anybody African, that is not African. We African people will beat your motherfucking ass till you die. We'll kill you. Keep it simple. Especially you crackers. We'll kill you quicker than anybody. Kill all you motherfuckers. We'll kill you systematically. Now, if you think that it's cool to enslave African people, no, it's not. No, it's not. Any questions? 
Okay. If you think it's cool to eat dogs, nah, it's not. But if you eat dogs, go ahead. But if you slave African people, we'll kill you. Now, let's talk politics. Control, power, exercise, society. I'm a societal man. In my society, we do not call the police, the people whom I associate with on a social level. No, we do not call police because the police here in this continent are not for all people. They do not protect us here on this continent. The police here on this continent do two things. They either, they do one of three things. They either give us something that will put us in debt, which is called a pink ticket, or they will incarcerate us into a jail system that is not fit for us, African people. Or they will kill us. So there's a no-win situation when it comes down to dealing with the police here in this continent. So what I say is to kill a motherfuckers too. And for the cone ass Africans who think that it's okay to be a cop and to oppress Africans, we will kill you also. So everyone is killed. Not everyone is killed. We leave many of you alive. We're not all about killing. We're about winning. But we're going to kill a lot of white people. We're going to kill a lot of crackers. All across this globe. All across the globe. But you know some. I know a lot of you crackers, after you hear this, you're going to get wind of what's going on. And you're going to sit back in your little fucking caves where you fucking come from. Your little bomb shelters away from the sun. Probably somewhere in Russia or some shit. You might press one of your nuclear buttons to blow shit up because you're getting scared. Oh, the black people waking up. They're going to come kill us. What are we going to do? Well, go back into your fucking caves. Maybe you'll be the fucking crackers that live and tell a fucking story to the rest of you fucking punk ass crackers. That we fucking killed y'all. Now. What you gonna do in a society that's not designed for you? Let's talk politics. Politically speaking, Africa for the Africans. Africa not for the crackers, not for the Europeans, not for the Indians. Thank you, come again. No, fuck you, motherfucker. Not for the Arabs. Fuck you, Arabs. Not for the Asians. If we allow you to come in to any of our African countries, you will be protected by us. We will protect you because we have brought you in for a reason. We think that you have something that you can offer us. And we will return you to your country safely. But if we did not bring you in here, we don't have to take you out. Maybe a lion or a cheetah. Maybe they may get hungry. Who knows? Probably some alligators. No, I don't mean the boys. Hyena. Eh. It's a lot of things in Africa. You know? I'm talking about down to Brazil, baby. African people all around the world. South America. The Caribbean islands. North America. North America. Canada. The continent of Africa. We are all over this world. We're one. One African people. 
You tired of the systematic oppression? You tired of your loved ones being killed? You tired of drugs being pushed into your neighborhoods? You tired of the police brutality? Are you tired of your son, nephew, daughter getting beat? Are you tired of the uneducated Negroes speaking? Are you tired of just selling dope all the goddamn time and you still in a fucked up ass situation with no good ass house and you too fucking old to realize that state property and all them other fucking movies was fucking movies and wasn't actually real fucking life and that you too stupid to accomplish what you seen in the fucking movies because your dumbass didn't have any fucking idea that it was a fucking movie and it wasn't real life and that's not how shit really turned the fuck out. Are you one of those people? Are you a dumbass nigga who don't even know that you fucking African? Are you one of those people? If you are, it's time for you to wake the fuck up. And get down with the program. Africa for the Africans. The world for the Africans. Anyone who opposes is an enemy. Dispose of all enemies. Clean house. The European, Caucasian, so-called Jew, Arab, Asian, Indian, are all enemies. Turks too. Persians too. Anyone and everyone who is not African is an enemy. Anyone and everyone who is not African is an enemy. Anyone and everyone who is not African is an enemy. When you speak to your friend, mother, father, brother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, nephew, niece, daughter, son, Ask them, are they African? They may not know that they're African. Then you educate them on what it means to be an African. And if they still say, no, I'm a nigger, I'm not African, they're your enemy. Because they will call the fucking cops on you. They will fuck all your shit up because they're niggas and they're not African. And for those of you who know that people that are around you are not African, that's obvious. You don't have to ask them. And if somebody comes and say, I'm African, and you're like, no the fuck you're not, you know that they're not fucking African. And that includes some of you mother, a lot of you motherfucking mulattoes. A lot of you motherfucking mulattoes. You're fucking mulatto. Fuck you. You can die too. But you know what? As you are mulatto, some of you cool, some of you ain't. We African people going to side. We hope to keep most of you motherfuckers on the other side. But we'll take good mulattoes who understand they're African for the rest of you motherfuckers.
fuck you die slow, motherfucker. My fofo make sure all your kids don't grow. You motherfuckers can't see us or be us. Motherfucking African till I die. That's Aaron Mealy's talk on politics. Catch you later, alligator baby.